Hi, I'm Mark, one third of Trading the Market, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix some of the errors you might come across in your Excel spreadsheets. This is Excel in Your Strategy, Episode 4. And what I'm going to show you today is a couple of things um, with regards to first fix, well, secondly, fixing errors. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to streamline your equations when working out percentage chances of something happening. So in order to do this, I'm going to go refer back to episode one where I show you how to do VLOOKUP formulas to work out a percentage chance of something happening. So rather than overcomplicating it and do it across multiple tabs, I'm going to do it all on the same tab. Um, it's exactly the same way as we do in the Excel Your Strategy episode one. But rather than it being on multiple tabs at the bottom, I've just put it on the same sheet and made it main tab, data tab, so it's like it's two pages. So we're going to do a VLOOKUP formula for the home team, which is Man City, who are playing Liverpool, for first half and second half goals. So we do VLOOKUP, we're going to do table value, uh, sorry, uh, lookup value, which is Man City in this case, for the first half. So the table will be this table here. Column index number is column index number two. And as always, we're selecting false. So that gives us 45, which is the 45% we see there. Just as a decimal, it works out the same. So we'll do exactly the same for the second one. V lookup, look at values, Man City. And we're going to do it again here. Uh, column index number three this time, because it's one, two, three. And it's false as always as if you if you write true then it will find the nearest approximate match or an approximate match so false that gives us a 55 we can check it against that so let's go again with a v lookup for liverpool same table as we're getting the same data column index number two because we want first half and false and then we're going to do exactly the same and I'll just speed this up a little bit so there we go column index three false close bracket so with all them uh, all the data we've got from a different data tab we can then work out a percentage chance of the likelihood of a goal in the first half second half so we're going to do that by adding them together and divided by two and because of bod mass which is a mathematical rule in the order of calculations, you want to separate how you add them up. So in this case, we're going to open bracket because anything in brackets happens before anything after it. So we're going to open a bracket. We're going to take the first half of the home team and the first half of the away team, add them together. So by doing that in the brackets, that'll happen first. And then we're going to divide by two. So that gives us a average of 38.5. And we're going to do it a second. We're going to do it the same way for the second half total, by adding the second half and second half. Important to remember to stick these in brackets, and then divide by two. So that gives us now the percentage chance of well, the percentage likelihood of goals being scored in the first half versus goals being scored in the second half based on this data. Now, although this is an adequate way, and I show it this way there is a, a lot quicker way of doing this because it's an absolute um, we were able to take one piece of information and work out another one from it which I'm going to show you what we're doing now so if I unhide this part here I've got exactly the same format set up apart from here I've only got goal chances for the first half but then I've got first half and second half total chance, which is this part here. So the way I'm going to work it out is exactly the same. The data, is, the data tab is exactly the same. So I'm going to do a V lookup. Look at value is still going to be Manchester City. It's still going to be the same table array. So nothing's changed. It's still going to be column index two. And it's still going to be false. So exactly the same formula as we used above. Oh, something went wrong there. Ah, this is the uh, sorry. This is the error I'm going to show you how to fix. So if I change that to Man City, there we go. We see it works. So I'm then going to um, do equals v lookup again. So that error came because I'm going to show you how to fix that, which happens quite commonly on soccer stats, sadly. 
uh, look up value away team first half so we're going to do away team table array column index number two because we want the first half and false so then we've got exactly the same percentages here as we have here so we can now work out the first half chance which equals that plus that in brackets as always because we want that to happen first divided by two equals 38.5 percent which is what we're trying to work out now in order to miss out this column this column here oh, there and this column here uh, where we work out the second half chance is because goals are absolutes as in there's no freeway option uh, as in win lose and draw is percentage game win percentage games drawn percentage games lost we're able to work out with one data point what the f second one would be so if we knew the games won and the games drawn percentage we could work out the games lost percentage so in the same vein by knowing that 38.5 percent of the goals in the first half are uh, sorry are scored in the first half between the two teams we know that 100% of the goals scored have to exist because 100% is an absolute. So in this column, rather than working all this out, we do equals 100, or 1 as a decimal should it be, minus that. Hit enter, and that gives us 61.5%, which is exactly the same. And remember, even though it shows it in percentages, uh, 1 equals 100%, so you don't have to put in 100 you're only putting in one because one is a hundred percent as we're working out in decimals so it gives you the exactly the same result but we're using a lot fewer data fields we're using a lot fewer um, formulas which allows Excel to speed up a bit now the error I'm going to show you is the fact that and this is actually an error that we get on the Premier League spreadsheet is soccer stats show Man City under the fixtures as Manchester City but in the data tab, it shows it as man C, man C with a decimal. So I'll change it on both. And what that does is provide you with a hash NA error, which will mean that the VLOOKUP cannot find what it's looking for. And this becomes quite, it can become quite complicated or time consuming to try and fix. But what I'm going to show you is an easy way of fixing that. So by doing so, I'm going to go over to sheet two. I'm going to show you how we fix it by a little example. And then I'll go back and fix it on the previous sheet. So in order for this to work, you're going to need to go to file and then all the way to the bottom options. And under customize ribbon, you're then going to need to find the developer tab. I've already got mine added, which is there. You can just add or remove the developer title as you want to add it in. So when you find it in here, add the developer, developer tab and then click OK. And that's going to give you this developer tab at the top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a button. So in this case, I'm going to put a button in the middle of the screen. And just for now, I'm going to click cancel and then going to rename it to uh, I tell you what, just for a bit of fun, we're going to call it Truth. And I'll give you a real world example in a minute, but I'm just explaining the, uh, the actual process of it. So we want to make this button do something because at the minute this button does nothing and clicking it won't work because there's nothing assigned to the back side of the button. So we need to tell the button what to do. So in order to do that, we need to give a macro. Uh, as you can see up here, there's a record macro and macros. Basically, a macro is an instruction um, of things to happen. So when you record one, anything you do once you click record, that button will then do. So for example, and this is the example we're going to use, I'm going to uh, assign macro. I'm going to... Um, oh, I've got one previously set in. So I'm going to click on that, uh, assign macro, edit it, and then delete that out. Just so this won't happen to you. It's only happening because I had previously a macro in. So assign macro. I'm going to, so when you come to a new sheet, 
it will say record so I'm going to click record and anything I would click after this or do after this will happen so I'm going to use the example of record remove relevant data we'll use the same name it's not an issue and I'm going to do control F which will give me oh click on a square cell control F and I'm going to search Alex Ong in the workbook and anywhere Alex Ong re, uh, appears in any of these spreadsheets I want to change that to another word or another uh, format of that word so under click and replace make sure it's within workbook I'm going to put new kitchen and this is definitely a nod to Sandor who uh, who loves this joke so Alex on new kitchen replace all so click replace all it's going to tell you you can't find anything because we haven't got anything yet which is okay click close and then we're going to click stop recording so after we hit stop recording this button now works but doesn't seem to do anything but the moment we write Alex on anywhere it's going to change that to new kitchen so Alex on again new kitchen and it doesn't matter how many times you write it or where it is on the sheet if it says Alex Ong and you click that button they're all new kitchens and it's probably as many kitchens as you have paid for to be fair um, so the reason we do I've shown you that and how to do it is because when you come to soccer stats um, your data is going to be Manchester C and your main tab is going to be Manchester City and when you try and look at the data it's not going to find it so what we're going to do is we're going to use the same developer tab so we're going to go insert a button I normally stick it in the top corner of the sheet where there's a little gap I'm going to hit um, record and this is going to be name fix oh you can't have a gap in so name fix I will then edit text to name fix so assign macro uh, I'm going to edit it because it's got this button in it so what we're going to do is ignore that again oh. so right click assign macro we want to record a new one so as you do it, it'll be recording new macro, name fix, okay. So I'm going to click on a cell, control, click Control F again, and I'm going to put Manchester City. And what you should always do is take the longest name first. So don't try and replace Manchester C dot with Manchester City. It should always be Manchester City replaced with Manchester C dot. So the shorter one should be first because if you you uh, should be the one you change to because if you try to change the shorter one it will change the Manchester City into Manchester dot so if we do replace Manchester C dot so always use the shorter one first make sure it's entire workbook and hit replace all and OK close then hit stop recording that when your spreadsheet re-update so you click data refresh all sources this will then change this back to uh, Manchester City on both accounts and you're gonna get your error the moment you get your error after updating your spreadsheet you can have one button at the top and then this will allow you to click it and it will just fix it for you um, if you've got more than one team as you do in uh, leagues like the Chinese League, Japanese League and uh, I think Israel uh, where you're going to have more than one team that's not that's not an issue at all so we're going to remove the macro again we do that by editing it delete and close and say we've got Manchester City and Manchester United so we'll just change that to city again and copy these two we're not going to put any data in it's just for proof of concept 
So we want to go right click, assign macro, record, name fix. So we're going to go find, control F to find and replace, Manchester City to Manchester C dot, replace all, OK. And then Manchester United to Manchester U dot. And then replace all. There's none at the minute. Oh, there's two, obviously, that we put in. And we hit close. And then on our macro, we stop recording. That's now done both of them. So if we then changed these back to... And we'll just copy it down. So we back to where we originally were and we click the name fix. You can see they both change. So when you start recording your macro, you can do control F and replace as many as you want in order for it to um, correct your name. So if you've got 10, that's not an issue. It does, it's a bit of a ball ache setting up the first time, but once you've got your, um, once you've got it set up, then it'll work every time. So that now shows you how you can fix your naming issues on uh, Excel when you're converting the sheet over and it will work every single time. It's If you want a copy of the sheet that we re originally did in episode 3, then feel free to join our Discord. Uh, it's free, it's anonymous, you can be involved as much or as little as you want. Um, as always, we benefit nothing from any of our subscribers. And if you are not subscribed, please consider as it helps us out. Um, we make no money off you. There are no sponsors, no advertising and no affiliations. Um, we make our money on the market trading. And we started this in order to develop other people's skill sets to do the same. And we encourage and give you the ability to do that through the Discord channel. Uh, there is a wealth of knowledge on there, not only from uh, ourselves, me, James and Roy, uh, but from the moderators and the actual members of the group, nearly 500 now, who have a great wealth of knowledge and a, a great sounding board. And it's, it's good to um, have them people around you with like-minded views who are all trying to succeed that are learning from each other. So there's nothing left for me to say except consider subscribing, like, comment and until next time, I've been Mark. This has been episode 4 of Trading the Market, Excel Your Strategy and happy trading.